What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 48 of the Hive Mind Podcast. Be sure to check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, and soon to be Twitch. I'm working on it. Uh, working on getting all my stuff that I want backed up on Twitch, backed up on Twitch. Uh, hopefully, I can get it done this week, but no promises. Uh, so, what have you been up to, Mr. Nosebleed Man? Dude, I, th- I think every time I text you on the weekend, you think I'm like, making shit up. But, like, You today, sound like ass. Yeah. Well, so to give you a scope, so every winter or whenever the season gets cold and uh, we have to turn on the heat, like house heat is kind of like a dry heat. Oh, yeah. No, I know exactly what you're talking. We've actually talked about (laughs) this with, uh, I don't remember who the guest was, but we all three had it where your nose gets dry as fuck. It's so annoying. Yeah. So uh, that happened last night. Like, and I had a humidifier on, so I didn't think it was a big deal. And, uh. Nope. So I was playing. I was uh, just hanging out today, and um, um, was sitting here, freaking um, uh, on my computer when I had the baby because she was asleep today. So um, I went. I was like ten thirty, and I was getting ready to feed her, and I like stretched. And I guess when I stretched, it like flexed my nose a little bit, and it started pouring out of my face, yeah. like so bad that. Uh, and I don't know what to do, so I woke her up because I'm like, I can't take care of this baby while I'm dying. So uh, it was so bad. It was one nostril was actually bleeding, but uh, it was coming out of both and my fucking like eye socket. What? Like, I was I was bleeding out okay, of my. Okay, you eye might socket. have a health issue then. <laughs> and uh, how I found that out was I laid down on my bed a little bit to hold it on my nose. Well, and I have, and I have it my was con- probably one of those things where you sucked the blood in. And it went through your your eye socket. Yeah, I don't know, but um, I was laying on my bed and uh, and uh, I had my contacts in, and it started getting all foggy. And I was like, "What the fuck? Like, why? That's kind of weird." And uh, yeah, like sure than shit. Yeah. Like I I like touched my eye, and I was like, "What the?" Sh-? I was like, "Okay, I gotta go to the hospital." And she's like, "Uh, maybe not." <laughs> so. Uh, I was yeah, like, well, it's because it's because your your eye whatevers are connected to your nose. I saw some yeah. shit on TV like ten years ago where this guy would take two corn kernels and suck them up through his nose and then pull yeah. them out of his eye eyelids or whatever. Yeah. So anyway, um, so that happened, um, and then uh, this past week, I went to I was in uh, up at our factory in Cleveland, uh, so. That was pretty interesting, man. That <laughs> was uh, some cool stories. I actually wrote down the stories to tell you because I knew I was going to forget all the stories like from this past week. Yeah, uh, I'm hoping that I don't have that shit happen to me this this winter. Um, the only thing I'm thinking that might change it is I drink like a, a fucking retarded amount of water now. Not like on purpose. I just have it next to me and I just drink a ton of like mo- multiple gallons a day easily. Uh, right. So maybe, um, maybe it won't happen to me because it hasn't – like the heat's been on for – at least, uh, I don't know, a few weeks at this point, and I haven't had any, like, inklings of it starting to happen. But that shit sucks, dude. I know exactly what you're talking about. <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you ever do that shit where you're in the shower, and you're like, mm, I want to fucking get some of this shit out, but I don't want to risk opening up the grand fucking canyon of blood? Uh, yeah, well, I did. Uh, that was last year. Um, <laughs> I had blood in the shower. Yeah, you so, do that shit where you like get as, get the shower as hot as you can, and you press down on like the bridge of your nose and just like crack, 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 crack. Oh, it's fucking the worst. I don't know about all that, but yeah, kind of. Oh, sort you don't of. know what I'm talking about? Where it's like all hard, like the inside of your nose is like fucking hard as a rock. No, I don't do that. You don't get that? That's a different thing, I think. Oh no, <laughs> with with me in the winter, like some well, hopefully again not this winter, but um, my nose gets really dry, and then the inside of my nose gets like fucking hard. It's so fucking, it hurts so fucking bad. Uh, I was doing, I remember last winter when Wild, or not, this is what, two, three years ago when Wildstar came out? Uh, uh, yeah, something like something that. Something like that, yeah. Uh, we were doing, uh, this was actually on a live stream, we were doing a, a boss fight, and I went to like, sc- like scratch my nose, like the top of my nose real quick, and it, you know how you do that, where like, you just, I don't know, you open it up somehow, when right. it's dry already, and then it just starts bleeding? So I'm in the middle of this fucking raid encounter, 
and I keep playing, and I'm streaming, and there's just blood fucking gushing down my face, getting all over me, and people are losing their minds. Nice. Yeah, I kept playing, and we killed the fucking boss. Oh, good. And I did, like, number two DPS, with gut blood gushing out of my face. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't know, see... That's okay if you have a baby, but she would have come over and been like, oh, look, time to play, and then played in all my death. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so that, that happened. <clears throat> when I was up at, at uh, Cleveland, actually, um, funny thing. So my buddy uh, stayed in the, We stayed in this hotel, in this conference center, and there was, like, some construction. And I can't show you the picture because I didn't upload it, but uh, – <laughs> his view was of this building where there was like building a new hotel and one of the construction workers um, ripped a penis in the curtains <laughs> of the place that they were building. So his view out the window was of a dick uh, in curtains, which was kind of funny. Wait, did he like, he like cut it out with a knife? He ripped it. Like I, uh, I could try to upload the picture, but um was this like a random thing that the guy did and it just looked like a dick? Or did he like skillfully rip the curtains in such a way that he intentionally no, he, made it look like a dick? Yeah, exactly. He skillfully ripped a dick into the curtains. Uh, How do you do that without like a blade? I don't know. I don't know, but uh, I can definitely show you. I'm intrigued <laughs> now. Um, so, yeah, that was that. And there was these people there from... Um, so there's like our company's like a global company. So there's people there from, like, all over the world. And, uh, like, Indonesia, fucking Thailand, whatever. So you would think that, like, if you're, like, your English is, like, your second language, right? Like, you would think that if you wanted to ask a question. So, like, our CEO gave, like, an hour speech or whatever. Um, you would think to yourself, like, maybe before I ask this question, I should think to myself if I know how to phrase what I'm about to say. So, like, this fucking lady gets up, and she was like, uh, um, first, uh, let's thank you, uh, for helping with, uh, the blah, 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 like, it took 15 what, what, minutes. What, is she Asian? What, what is yeah, that? Yeah, Japanese. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to do a Japanese, uh, accent with your nose stuffed up. But anyway, uh, she spattered, like, on for 15 minutes, and basically asked our CEO, like, during this, like, 500-person conference, like, what would happen if our factory got hit by like a nuclear explosion? Because Jap Japan deals with like earthquakes all the time, so they yeah, have to like deal with disaster. Yeah, thing yeah. has them all on edge. <laughs> so she's like Godzilla shit. What would happen if we if we hit got hit with a nuclear like blast <laughs> in Cleveland? And our CEO was like, "Well, if the bombs start dropping, you should probably run." And then everyone started laughing like <laughs> this lady, and I yeah, guess she I would, felt bad. Be the last thing I'd worry about. Oh no, will I be able to make it to work tomorrow? Right. And everyone started laughing, so I think he felt bad, so he finally gave her an answer that was like... Oh, he gave you know, her like, like a have... serious answer to like try after, to make well, her after, feel better? Like... After he realized, yeah, after he realized that 500 people all over the world in this company were laughing at this lady. Yeah. But yeah, it took her like 15 minutes to get that out. Because she was like, I uh, want to um, maybe have knowledge about the... We just recover from earthquake very bad and it's Jesus like oh my god Rosetta stone bitch <laughs> it's like shut up yeah anyway so uh that happened um i played with a listener by the way this uh past friday on uh what what game in a while oh we were we were raiding uh we killed a heroic uh xavius and uh yeah we were raiding and like this monk i guess who was a friend of one of the persons in our guild, like, uh, hopped into our group and he was like, "Holy shit, is this dopamine from the Hive Mind podcast?" And I'm like, "What You're the fuck?" Famous, bro. Like, what the fuck? And I'm like, "Uh, yeah." And he's like, "Nice, love the show." And I'm like, "Okay, cool." <coughs> he uh, he was healing wasn't that great, but uh, <laughs> he he uh, he's pretty fucking terrible. But you know, he wasn't terrible. He was all right. He uh, he killed Xavius with us. So. Dude, my my fucking viewers, well, maybe it's just the ones that decide to play with me, but like in COD, when I run with like subs on COD, we fucking rape everybody. Really? I haven't done it with this most recent COD that's coming out, uh, but dude, 
<clears throat> like, my friends list is stacked. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've been playing a lot of COD. Uh, because that, that Infinite Warfare beta thing, which is... Oh, is that out now? Yeah, um, the game isn't out, but there's a beta, and I got a code for free. Probably not going to get the actual game. This is kind of weird. Like, I'm really good at the game, but I kind of hate it. Like, I'm really... Like, this is not my best COD, but it's one of my best CODs. And uh, it's weird. It, that's it's that's such a weird thing to be, like, really good at a game, but still be like, this is trash. You've managed to determine that it's one of your best CODs after how many days have you played it? Uh, about 40 hours. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's... dude, I, I, like... The last game I just played, I went thirty six and zero. Oh yeah, fair enough. Like, <coughs> fair enough. Like the the only reason I'm good at the the only reason I feel like I'm good at the game is because I'm good at exploiting the shitty map design, and the maps are fucking horribly designed. And every time I die, like I know this is like a COD meme at this point, but like seriously, almost every time I die, it's to some bullshit. It's to like bad map design or just getting instantly killed by one of these guns that has like no time to kill and no recoil and it's i don't know they, they designed the game to be random on purpose to help appeal to casual players because the more random a game is the the more right, it the skews, better casuals do the, the better casuals do right because they get a few kills here and there and uh you know if you're able to consistently do well like in some of these other cods like black ops one i had a five kill death ratio not even trolling. Literally, it was five plus kill deaths. So every time, you know, every time I die, I, I take five people down with me. So um, with this game, I've been tracking my stats because uh, you can't, they don't show it in the fucking game because GG, right? Um, but I've been writing them down and I'm at a 3.1 KD in this game. That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. I've been playing TDM, so you can't be like, so all the people in the comments, he's not playing the objective. Like, that is the fucking objective, you idiot. Right. You're going to get Battlefield <laughs> 1? That's coming out uh, this week. See, so actually, here's I got another story. So uh, let's go back <laughs> to that. avoided that question. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's, it's relates. So uh, the reason, like, uh, I don't know. I haven't, I might, maybe. I'll um, just give you shit. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I might, but I'm I'm saving money for a uh, for the 1080 Ti's, which are probably going to be announced uh, at, uh, what, CES in, in January. What do you have now? Uh, a 680 Ti. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're pretty due. I have a 780, and I'm going to be upgrading here within Yeah, the, t- the, the 1080 Ti's are going to be where it's at. I don't know if you've seen, like, the specs and shit um, from them, but uh, it's, like, 12 gigs of VRAM. Like, they're That's ret- fucking insane. They're retarded. Yeah, I remember, I remember when one gig... It doesn't even seem like it's that long ago, where one gig of VRAM was like, oh my god, it's got a gig of VRAM. Right. Well, you need... To, it's going to be like, um, you know, they wanted to do like VR and all another shit, which um, PSVR came out, and apparently it's like a uh, vomit-inducing experience. Of course uh, it is. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, but anyway, I... Speaking of like cards and machines and all that kind of stuff, uh, I wanted to. Um, after I went on this trip, I realized that I didn't have a laptop or I didn't have like any way to like interact with the internet while I was gone, and it would kind of be not- like smartphone device. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. But I, I meant like the actual internet, like like basically like play WoW and stuff. So um, I was reading up on it, and. Uh, I was like, the surfaces, like, there's going to be a Surface that comes out in January, the Surface 5s. So the Surface 4s are on sale right now on Amazon. Um, pretty hardcore, uh, like a lot. So I went to Best Buy to see about getting one because I heard that you can run WoW on it pretty well. Really? And, yeah. It's like on a the, laptop. The tablet? Yeah. That's yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah, it's like a computer. I mean, it's like a laptop. Does it get, like, hotter than the sun? No. No, so wow, I went, that's I, went, nuts. I went to go buy one, <clears throat> and I and there's there's three different models. There's the uh, M processor, which is like the baseline one, which you can get for like eight hundred dollars, whatever. There's the i five, and then there's the i seven. But the graphics card, if you will, are, is tied into the CPU. It's in- integrated, yeah. So it's definitely a good idea to get the 
i7 if you want to try to play games on it and stuff. Like some people, some people play like Overwatch on it and shit. Like it's pretty crazy. Dude, that's what, what is this? What, how big does this thing have? USB sockets and shit too. Yeah, it's got one. Sur- one what is it called? Surface. Uh... Surface Pro Four. So I go to uh, Best Buy, and I want to go get one, right? And Amazon has the i7 version. Oh, it is a lot. Okay. It's I thought it was... Li- oh, it's both. It's oh, it detaches. Yeah. You don't oh, have so to... Oh, you can hook a mouse into this thing and you're you're set. Yeah, you can. It's badass. I, I really liked it. That actually is yeah. pretty cool. I mean, I don't I don't need one of these things, but yeah, I don't so, even use the tablet I've got. So I go to Best Buy to... Um, yeah, but a normal tablet is like a fucking oversized phone, right? That yeah, the only reason I got this tablet is because I didn't have a smartphone for the longest time, and I needed two-step authentication for my shit to be safe, so I got a tablet. Yeah. So uh, anyway, so I go to Best Buy to get one, and Amazon has it for... Uh, normally, it's a $1,600 thing, because like, it's like the, you know, it's the i7, 8 gig, like it's upgraded one with 256, whatever. So... um. Amazon has it on sale because, like I said, the fives are coming out um, uh, the first of the year, so they're putting the fours on sale. And um, I go there and I'm like, hey, are you guys price match Amazon? Because Amazon has this way cheaper. And they're like, no, sorry, we don't, whatever. And a couple people came up and asked me if I needed help, and I was like, the same thing. I was like, no. This fucking Indian kid comes up, and uh, he's younger. I don't know how old he is, but he's uh, probably like 18 or something comes up to me and i'm like hey you guys gonna price match amazon and they do but only if it's like sold by actual and amazon and filled by amazon not if it's like a resale kind of deal and it was a resale so i'm like do you got you know price match or whatever and he's like no we don't and he like whispers over and he's like but check out you know um, check out like b and h photo or whatever and check out another one that he gave me it was like a local shop and I was like, okay. So he, I'm like looking at it, and I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. And he's like looking it up on his thing too, right? Like, which is kind of interesting. Uh, and he's like, hey, he's like, uh, let me just go over and see if I can just do it without a manager. And if I can, <laughs> if I can just do it, what I'll a just, beast! I'll just give it to you. And I'm like, uh, okay. So he walks over there, and he like fucking tiggy types into his little register, and he's like, hey, he's like, hey, come over here. He's like. He's like, we're good. <laughs> we're in. And I'm like, all right. So, uh, and I was like, I'm going to need this keyboard too because the keyboard's like separate or whatever. So I buy it. And as I'm like paying for it, like I feel obligated to make small talk with this guy because he like basically Did you saw it, yeah. risked his job to give me, for some reason, to give me this uh, tablet. And um, I mean, it's kind of low risk, right? Because I mean, he could say that he saw. You know what I mean? Like it's. But anyway. Yeah, yeah. He so I'm like, hey man, I was like, I appreciate it. I was like, you know, Best Buy needs more people like you. And I was like, because I'm tell you, I was gonna leave here and I was gonna go buy it on Amazon, and Best Buy would lose the sale, you know, and uh, over blah blah blah. And he's like, <laughs> he says the weirdest shit to me. He's like, he's like, well, man. He goes, I saw you standing there, and he goes, I just, I just see myself in you. That's <laughs> I'm like, really gay. I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, I see myself, uh, you know, you're like me because, uh, uh, you know, I do the same you know, thing. We're both Indian. But he's like, I see myself in you. And I was like, that is the weirdest shit one other dude has ever said to me in time of my life. And I couldn't say that because I like, felt bad. He was you up, yeah. Yeah, so, but anyway, um, yeah. Ended up. How old was this guy, would you say? Is this like an 18-year-old that said something dumb 18, or is this like. 18-year-old. Oh, okay. Like, and then he tells me about he's going to go join the police academy or something. Well, uh, this dude's really – he's fucking warming your ass up, dude. Yeah, I know. I think he wanted some of the D. But anyway, so – um, uh, <laughs> Where would you guys go to dinner last, to make, that night? To make, to make small talk because he, like, did me a solid. But anyway, so I loaded WoW up on it, and uh, WoW's gotten big in case you don't know. WoW is, like – 40 fucking gigs big. Yeah, it used to be like 36 back in Wrath. They like compressed the shit out of it, but now it's, I mean, obviously bigger because it's, you know, there's more to it, but they, they made it. It's its incredibly tiny for how much it is, though. Right. So, um, I set up WoW on it and uh, put on Curse and I put on TSM for my, like, things. And, like, I put all of my, like, shit on there and uh, it runs it at, like, um, it's not like full high blown out settings, but it runs it at like uh, 40 FPS on like medium settings, 
which wow. which for you know basically a tablet is uh it's pretty good. I probably could have optimized it further, but but anyway, I realized after that that number one that was a lot of money that I just spent. And how much was this thing? <laughs> it was like fifteen hundred dollars with the keyboard. Oof. And number two, uh for that same amount of money, I was basically going to use it as a laptop. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't actually going to use it as a tablet because I don't like to carry stuff like that. Why didn't that. you just get a laptop? You could have gotten right. a lot. That's what I decided. I was like, you know, how for how I'm going to use this thing or whatever, um, I'll just wait and then I'll just buy like a Sager. Uh, That's, I've had one of those before. They're, they're Sa- fucking nice. Sager? Yeah. Yeah, Sager's the I best. Had them, I, had them, uh, I had one in like 2009. Because I had to have a laptop because my fucking home life was terrible and I avoided home like crazy. Um, but yeah, dude, they're they're actually legit gaming laptops. Like, I, I made my old videos on them and fraps on them and shit. And uh, they're big and they're bulky and they're heavy, but their performance is the, the shit. And they're right. loud. They're loud as fuck. Yeah, I don't care about any of that. Yeah, th- yeah neither did I. So that's definitely the way to go. Yeah, so uh, that's what I figured. And I was like, you know, like... If and if I got one, like the performance of that would be a lot better than the performance yeah. of this little, you know. So I, anyway, I think I, the one I had was probably about what you spent on that tablet, and it, that thing was a fucking beast, man. I wish I, I wish, dude, I got so pissed. My fucking friend's dog broke the fucking laptop. Like really? it was, it was so gay. Uh, luckily, I was gonna replace. Like I was in the. I was in the market to replace my shit anyway and get a desktop and have an actual, like, legit setup because my parents had gotten divorced at that time and, you know, my shit wasn't fucking crazy anymore. Um, but what the dog did is he ripped the, the laptop power cord out. He ripped oh. it out in such a way that it... At first, I thought it was just a power cord that was broken, so I bought a new power cord and that wasn't the issue. But it bent the motherboard. Like, I don't know how this fucking dog did it, but, like... Jesus. It, it like ripped the power cord out in such a way that it bent the the motherboard soldering to where the the power outlet hooks so into the, the whatever. It was point of no return basically. Yeah, it was fucked. Well, I mean, it pro- I probably could have repaired it, but it was one of those things where it was like or I probably could have gotten it repaired. I don't know how to fucking fix that shit when it comes to like soldering together shit. Um but it was like whatever. I'm going to get another computer here pretty soon anyway. So I just right. didn't bother. Did your buddy fucking pay for that shit? No. <laughs> what? No, nah, it was one of the, so the I I can't complain, right? So like I, I don't I can't tell the details of the story because it's like super fucked up. Uh when You fucked his sister. No, no, no. It has nothing to do with them or their family. But essentially I was staying at their house for a while. Right. Um yeah. for whatever reason. So it was like um yeah, it's not like I'd be like, yeah, yeah. your dog, like, I, I was practically, like, living at their fucking house. And it's right. like, oh, you so gotta how pay mad for... gonna be? Yeah, how mad can I really be that his, his dog, which is just a big fucking derpy lab, was running down the hallway and <laughs> managed to snag the power. It was just a fucking freak accident. So, uh, <laughs> so yesterday, or Friday, right, I'm at, um, I'm at work, and, uh, Work is fucking crazy, dude. Like, my schedule is fucking all over the place. But um, I uh, went to Subway. This is another crazy shit that happened. I went to Subway for lunch. I'm on, like, a Subway kick lady lately. I don't know why, but their rotisserie chicken is really, really good. That, like, new chicken. Oh, one second. Let me backtrack real quick. Did you just return that laptop, like, the second you bought it? Or that the tablet? Is two, it, days, like- two days later. Did you open it up and fuck with it for a while first, and then? Yeah, I just said I. You're just one said, of those people oh. that, that retail must hate your fucking ass. Well, I felt bad, right? Because I'm like, well, they're they're gonna either open box this or whatever. But honestly, if they what open, what was your? Did it, they give you an ex, like a re, like? Do you have to give them a reason? No, no. You just I'm, fucking... I'm like a platinum member at Best Buy anyway, which I was like their free rewards program. But no, you don't. No, if you don't like something, you can just take it back. That must be what all those fucking YouTubers do that review all that tech shit, like the small ones. That yeah, don't I'm have, sure. Like, Shit, it is. I thought about buying an Oculus Rift at Best Buy and then trying it out and then taking it back if I didn't like it. But uh, anyway, um, what was I gonna say? <laughs> um, at work, crazy shit. Sorry, yeah, yeah, I ruined Subway. Your... So I'm at Subway and um, this uh, like 16 year old black girl 
comes into Subway, and I'm sitting there eating like my fucking food or whatever, and uh, she's got like old lady, old grandma, like fucking hair curlers in her hair, like the pink ones. Uh, Classy. Yeah, but she orders her food again, and I'm like eating food, like not paying attention, and all of a sudden, like she's on her cell phone when she starts ordering this food. She starts bawling on her cell phone as the lady like takes her. She orders her sandwich and her meat and shit, and the lady puts it in the oven. She starts bawling, and all of a sudden, she starts screaming, No! No! God, no! Dear God, no! Like, fucking crazy. And uh, everybody in the restaurant, even including this other black guy that was sitting across from me, whips around, and we're like, What the fuck? And she's, like, crying, dude, like, in line, screaming into her phone. And this Indian lady, because, of course, subway owners are obviously Indian, uh was like <laughs> her sandwich was like done in the uh you know out of the thing and so she pulls it out of the oven the little toaster and she's like kind of pointing at it like uh, are you going to like not want this anymore or like um and the lady who's like sobbing still crying like tilts her phone down and goes mayonnaise and lettuce please <laughs> and then like the lady finished her sub and she pays and goes outside, still on her phone. And uh, I finish up. I go outside. She's sitting in her car, fucking like bawling, holding her phone like six inches from her head, like on speakerphone, taking a bite of her fucking like flatbread. <laughs> it's like the fucking like what in your life could be so traumatic that you'll scream that in the middle of fucking subway, but yet you're still hungry enough to like fucking eat your shit like. While you're assessing the situation on the phone, like I was fucking weird, dude. But that happened to me on Friday. Cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't really know what to say to that. <laughs> I don't either. I don't either. Yeah, I haven't had Subway in a while. I That's haven't it. had, dude. I haven't like had any fast food in a while. Yeah. Not because I'm like against it or anything. I just I don't know. I used to be on a. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just being real frugal right now. Yeah. Super Jewy. Yeah, well, I haven't had a lot of good food today because I don't want to re-rupture my fucking face. But uh, did you see that Q&A with Hazakostas, or did you hear, like, the details of it? No, but I heard he's the the big dick at Blizzard now. He's the, uh, uh, the, lead, wow. the lead guy. At yeah, WoW, yeah. Yeah. Good for him. I, I, okay. I like that guy, dude. A lot of people won't know, but he was the, uh, the GM of Elitist Jerks back in the day. Like, he was a legit fucking real player. It was good and like contributed a lot to the way, like to the success of like the game. Well, I think that's how they hired him, right? Yeah. Like he was... Yeah, he he doesn't want people knowing that, but yeah, there's like videos of him and Elitist Jerks, and he was a uh, he was a an enhancement shaman that had fucking uh, sulfurous. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I imagine you have to really care about this game for them to like take an interest in you. Um, yeah. No. I, I, every he seems like a, a pretty cool dude i mean he's just got a he's got a big fucking you know he's got a lot on the table right now considering they fucked the game up long before he got around there he did no i said other well, wow, people dude. fucked the game up long uh, yeah. before he well he's been there a long time dude he's been there like yeah but i'm sure he hasn't been in a position of like i'm sure lfr probably wouldn't be a thing oh yeah maybe not um yeah i mean celestalon used to be like kind of the voice of wow too but they kind of took him back and put it all on this uh, Warcraft devs fucking Twitter, but I agree with like most of what he said. But I still think this legendary system is probably like the worst design system that I can think of. Like, did I tell you? Were you? Did I say on the last show I got my legendary on my alt? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, still don't have it on my main. Yeah, you know, on my alt. Yeah, I don't have one but, either, and I'm not gonna get one. Oh, uh, are you done? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, he played a lot of it. A lot longer I, uh, than I thought I would. It's just, I don't know. I don't I don't feel, like, motivated to fucking play. Right. And the, the meta, like, I've done, I, I accomplished my goal. Like, I, I went in out of retirement and fucked up some really good players. And, uh, Quote, unquote, I don't know. retirement. Yeah, I guess you never, you never, you never done, right? Isn't that a thing? Uh, right. You never quit? Speaking of, uh, I played, uh, Overwatch today. Yeah, how'd that go? Uh, pretty good. I had enough coins 
<laughs> largely I logged back into uh, I really like those Halloween skins. Have you seen yeah, those? Yeah, they're really good. The Mercy one is pretty nice. The witch thing? The slutty witch. Yeah, but they I uh, did they add the flap over her over her ass? Like there's a there's No, it's like, always th- been there. There's like booty shorts. It's always been there, but if you're like running around it like is flapped up obviously. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Um that's the one that everybody's fucking wants is that mercy skin, which is got, probably the best one. Uh, I got that one. I actually think the um. Wait, did you just get lucky or just buy it? Well, I bought I bought twenty loot boxes. Oh, and you I, fucking I, whale! Hang on though, I bought twenty loot boxes and I got every skin that I could want. I like that that they let you buy them with coins now. That's fucking. I wish they would have done that with the summer games. Uh oh, they didn't with the summer games. Ones? No, you couldn't. You couldn't buy them with the currency. It was only from the loot boxes. So oh. like, and it was bullshit because there was there was a guy that spent like there was this one pro German Overwatch player that spent literally five hundred dollars trying to get the German flag, and didn't get it. And I don't think he ever got it. Huh, <laughs> lol. Because so, you can't get them now. Like you can't. Um, you can't just. You couldn't buy the summer games one with the currency either. Like you can't go back and. So no, you can't go back and do it, but with the Halloween ones, at least they let you buy them. It costs a lot of coins, but at least you can buy the stuff you want. So all the ones. The so here's the thing: I bought 20 loot boxes. I got all of the super expensive 3,000 coin legendary skins. So um, the only and I had like 1,500 coins. So not only did I get all the legendary ones, I got every skin. Like I think. The only one I didn't get was the um, the Frankenstein uh, Roadhog. Yeah. Which I didn't like anyway. So I, I literally got every skin except for that. I got the Reinhardt one. I got the uh, the Grim Reaper one with the pumpkin, Sleepy Hollow. I got uh, Pharaoh, which is badass. Um, the really, I think one of the coolest ones is Hanzo, the demon Hanzo. Hanzo. The, yeah. I think that the a lot of the... The 750 ones, a lot of the ones that aren't legendaries are cooler than the ones that are. Like, I think the Zenyatta one is really cool. I think the Ana one is really cool, too. Uh, I don't think I got the Ana one. What's the Ana one? Maybe I did. It's her with, like, a jack-o'-lantern, like, crazy, oh. like, disturbed. I don't, I don't if you're remember. With the disturbed artwork that they use, it's that face. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I don't, I don't um... I don't remember if I did. Because I, I didn't really care about that one. So I don't remember if I got that one or not. <laughs> but anyway, I'm pretty proud of the fact that I, uh, I got all of them with one like Lubok purchase. So yeah, there's not there wasn't any Zarya stuff that I wanted. Zarya hasn't gotten like she got some good some they're not good. I hated all her summer game skins they gave her. I'm waiting for like a robot like armored Zarya. That's what I want. Robot armored Zarya. Like, I, I want like a heavy armored Zarya. Like, oh, a, as a skin. The other one I didn't get. The only other one that I think that I didn't get was the. Uh, Bastion with the um. That one's a shit. That's a shit skin anyway. Yeah, so that I didn't really sucks. care about that. I didn't really care about that. <clears throat> so anyway, have you played any ranked Overwatch yet? I want to make fun of you. No. Uh-uh. You fucking casual whale. No. No, I'm just gonna casual give casual whale. I'm just gonna give them money, and uh, I'm too into WoW, dude. I've got like, I I'm on my fourth 110 now, so I've got uh, what? Seven more to go before I can like relax. I'm not playing them like super serious. I'm just doing them for like just to get them up there and do professions. Like accessories to your your main essentially. Yeah, the only one I'm playing super serious because I do like really retarded damage on it is my demon hunter. Um, so that's like my one alt, but the rest of them are just kind of like whatever. Yeah, uh, me and wow, dude. It's just like this. This actually happened. One time, like I, I came home from work and uh, I sw- this is this is hilarious. Came home from work, logged on WoW, saw that my two arena teammates were on. We uh, we all partied up. We were getting ready to queue arenas, and then uh, I, I think the paladin said something, and uh, he's like, "Yeah, I don't know if I'll have long to play today." And I was just like, "Do you guys even want to play?" And we're like, "No." We all said no and just stopped. Right, like, right. like we all we, I just thought it was funny 
we all partied up. We said, all right, we're going to play some games. Like, because we always, we were like playing games at like 7 Eastern every night. And then we just got sick of it. Because like, it was getting to the point to where the arenas right now, like there's so many like hard counter mechanics that are really annoying. Um, like a perfect example is like Red Pallies and Assassination Rogues. Like Red Paladins are good because Assassination Rogues are popular. And it's not like even a counterplay thing. It's like literally Red Pallies have a passive thing that removes poisons. Like it's that right. kind of rock paper scissors. It's not even like a. It's not even like a. Well, if they play this a certain way, it's annoying, and I, you know, I'm gonna play different. It's just like passive stuff. And like uh, another example is Mistweavers, where it's like their heal. One of their primary heals just heals three times as much if you use magic. Like that kind of stuff is really irritating. And it was getting to the point to where we were just like, well, we're probably gonna lose this game because it's a Mistweaver healer, or we're probably gonna win this game because it's not a miss we were healer and it was just like we could predict it like almost every game we were just predicting right off the gates right so i'm happy with how i did though uh, i was at, i was like the number five feral druid on alliance which is pretty good considering you know the horde orc racial is fucking stupid um yeah no i'm pretty happy with how i did beat a lot of good players it was uh top 10 feral for few weeks cool i uh did you see that there's um you probably didn't but in terms of triple a mmos like the only one that's on the horizon goes into cbt shortly it's um the uh that revelation online is that a triple a mmo <laughs> yeah apparently apparently mm. it's got raids and pvp and all kinds of... oh is that that top down thing no revelation online is mm. what it's called yeah. Free to play. M oh, it's it's fucking Chinese. You're shitting me. It's Asian. Yeah. This looks like dog shit, dude. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. This is not a triple A. This is they might have they might call it that. Well, anyway, this doesn't even uh, look as good as WoW did in 2004. Yeah, I mean, I'm not buying it. I'm just saying that uh, it, when it's going into CBT shortly, so. Uh, I wanted to. I signed up for open beta just to kind of see what, what it was like. But uh, this looks embarrassingly bad. Like I mean, I'm not like a big stickler for graphics, but like, wow. Right. And it's Asian. Like the fact that it's an Asian MMO just already, I already know what's coming. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, dude, if I was a betting man, of course I would put all my money on the fact that it would it would blow. But it's actually the only oh, the only reason I mention it is because that uh, <clears throat> since it is the only literally like the only thing, it's getting a fair amount of attention from like the MMO crowd, like MMO champ and Hive leader and uh, Cry and all those like MMO like dude, log loggers. Dude, that's the that's the thing, man. There is no tri big hitter MMOs coming out, and there won't be for a. A long time, man. No, uh, what you call it was supposed to be the uh, EverQuest next. Yeah, but it's gone. Shit can to that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that now that that's gone, there's nothing. Like there's not even an inkling on like EverQuest next was the inkling on the horizon in the far future that was like three years away. Right. And now there's not even like there's not even anything out there. So uh, that's 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 good for Crowfall though. Like I'm sure they didn't intend so, for this to happen, but I like, saw they announced like persistent world testing. Have they yeah. announced uh, anything further about that? Like, do you have a hint about release? No, uh, they said that's gonna. They said that that persistent world stuff is gonna start testing uh, the end of this month, end of October. Um, so that should be fun, but it's not gonna be. It's not gonna be a playable game. It's just gonna be like a lot of fucking around and them testing shit. They came out and said, like, yeah, it's not going to really be that much. It's going to be pretty much just run around in an open spot. And at least we'll be able to test shit, like mechanics of classes and stuff. Uh, but the real fun testing probably isn't going to start until, like, December, where they actually have some shit in. But they're going to have crafting in, like, a little bit, like, really entry-level stuff. Cool. I still haven't... I bought into that fucking uh, closed alpha and still haven't... Uh... There's You're not missing anything, dude. And so still have... me and me and the guild that I'm in, um, we go in like right now. It's basically just like a a, a team deathmatch essentially, 
is they just like drop teams of six people in and they say hey go kill each other while we test the servers and the combat right. and shit and we win every single game and oh, we get bored of winning right it's really you're not missing much like the the yeah no it's you're not missing much it's it's hunger dome is pretty fucking annoying right now right yeah i'm, I'm not too worried about it It'll just be a <laughs> It'd just be nice to see the game. I mean, I haven't literally. I haven't even seen nothing about it. So, uh, yeah. Did you? Uh, I actually got to watch the uh, the debates. Did you watch the second debate? Yeah, I did. Uh, I can't believe that was only. I feel like I feel like that was like two weeks ago. But I guess didn't did we do the podcast early last week or something? We did it. We really did it on like late. Friday, didn't we? Like really late we on Friday night. Really late, yeah. Yeah, I guess that was a week ago. Wow. Yeah, we haven't. Uh... Yeah, I felt like it was longer than that. Yeah, I watched it. What did you think? Uh, I don't you know. You were probably Trump... disappointed. Yeah. Uh, that like thing about him, like Hillary saying, uh, "I just am so happy that Donald Trump is not in charge of the law of this country," and he's like, "Cause you'd yeah. be in jail." I was like, "Yes." But, no, in reality, dude, Trump is kind of, like, imploding right now. Or at least the media is making it out to be like that. Who knows if that's actually the case, but kind of seems like a little bit. I just, dude, like, honestly, like, it sounds, like, horrible, but I'm kind of, like, uh, I, I guess tired of, like, all this, like, bullshit accusation that, like, people are seeing their, like, fucking opportunity for 15 minutes of fame. And yeah, like, being like Trump touch Trump touched me. It's like, man, I don't. I'm not a big Trump supporter, but you guys are. Uh, you guys are giving him some fuck. You know, at least for me, he's like some fucking sympathy uh, votes because like, there's no way that Trump touched all those fucking shit. No, chicks. you know what I mean. Like, this is simply like a. Well, I'm I'll sure he's. A, I'm sure he's a scumbag and a terrible person. I'm not denying that, but like. These are just a bunch of fucking gold digging hoes. Right. At this point. Right. So Yeah. Um but yeah, he uh man, talk about your fucking campaign derailing. Like Yeah, that shit uh I don't know. I don't know if this really hurt him. Like cuz it's one of those things where like Everyone this entire time has been saying, oh, my God, that remark is going to kill Trump. This thing is going to kill him. But, like, it just never has. So the shit might blow over, too. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't know, but... Uh, I, uh, I don't did think... you hear that the Trump bus pulled out of uh, Virginia? The Trump... Like, what do you mean it pulled out? Like, their campaign pulled out of Virginia. They're like, fuck it, we're giving up on Virginia. Oh, really? Yeah. I saw this on his Twitter, like, he kept tweeting about absentee ballots and shit. Yeah. He was so. winning Virginia. I guess that's, that's pretty significant. Was he? I think so, at one point. Oh. Dude, yeah. have you ever seen a Hillary Clinton sign in somebody's yard? I have never seen one. Mm, no. That's, that's such a weird thing. Like, there are pro-Trump people, but there doesn't seem to be any pro-Hillary people. Right. At least not openly. Which is like the opposite of what you would think, right? You would think that people would be scared. I, well, there are a lot of pro-Trump people that are scared to be pro-Trump, but no one is like jazzed up about Hillary fucking Clinton. No. It's just like, oh my god, I just Some don't of the celebrities Trump. are. Yeah, like Patton Oswalt. Like, what a, I like his comedy, but like, dude, when he goes political, it's just like, shut the fuck up. You fucking I really, pussy. You like his comedy? I think he's annoying. I think his comedy is good at some, at, sometimes. Yeah. The last thing I watched from him was pretty good. Yeah. A lot of comedians that people really, really like, I think, are irritating as fuck. Um, I like most comedy, though. Like, even, like, a lot of comedy that's, like, one or two, not, not one star, but, like, two or three stars on Netflix, I'm like, it. I think it was a little better than that. I don't know. Maybe I just like to laugh. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, I have a pretty low bar for comedy. You know what I mean? Like, I have a low bar for movies, too. Like, it does not take a lot. Yeah, like, I'm not against, like, the the pop... Like, I'm a fan of popcorn flicks. Like, if it's a superhero movie, even if it's kind of shitty, I'll eat that... I'll eat it up, dude. Right. I'm trying to think of the last superhero movie I watched that was, like, a, t a bad movie, but I liked it still. Right. 
I can't think of like I mean there's a lot of them, but I don't know. Yeah. Oh, it's irritating me. I can't remember what it was. What? The the movie that I watched that was Oh, was that um that X Men movie? The new X oh. X Men um Apocalypse? Yeah. I watched that on my uh fucking Cody Fire Stick. Yeah, it got it got really shitty reviews, but I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, I guess I'm just a sucker for uh superhero movies. You know what's good is um have you seen the advertisements for that show Westworld? No. But I don't I don't have TV, so Well, fucking download it. It's really good. It's like um So Michael Crichton was probably one of my favorite authors of all time. Um I don't know if you know who that is, but he's the one he's the guy who wrote Jurassic Park. Um, he also wrote the Andromeda strain. <laughs> he wrote a lot of things, but, um, his story, um, it's, uh, it's kind of matrixy, but it isn't. Um, so like there's this corporation that runs this, uh, <sighs> sort of, okay. So there's this town. This, this Wild West town where there's, like, gunslingers and lawmen and fucking bandits and all kinds of shit. They're all fucking, like, robots. Everybody in this town is a robot made by this corporation, right? And uh, there's, like, hundreds and hundreds of interconnected narratives. So, like, they all, everybody in the, the thing is playing out a story, right? And if you, you can interact with them, so they're, like, lifelike robots that you know they talk they think they whatever and uh if you do something right like if you fuck up one of their stories like you shoot one or you rape one or whatever um the rest of them improvise and adjust right so it's kind of like a theme park for rich people so if you're a guest you uh go to this place you pay a lot of money and uh, basically, you can do whatever you want inside this theme park with basically like real people, but they're not real people, they're robots, right? So, like, you can rape a bunch of chicks or sleep with a bunch of whores or like just be a murderer or you can be whoever you want to be. And uh, that sounds like a really fun thing to do, like in real life. I wish this was like a real thing. Yeah. So, the, the cool part is, uh, or like the hook of the thing, is that there was this update. Right, they did an update to their AI or whatever. Did it make them real people or some <laughs> shit? No, no, but it gave them. It gave them. They were called reveries, but it gave them like basically like memories of traumatic shit that has happened to them. So like, what happens is if you go in there right and you shoot one, it bleeds and it has a bullet hole in it and, and it's, it remembers. Uh, it's for dead. the next time. It doesn't fully remember though. It has like nightmares about it. But what I'm saying is, is, so how it works is like you go in there, you, I don't know, if you shoot one, it bleeds, it's dead. At the end of the day or the night or whenever the park closes or however they fucking do it, they haven't really said yet. They round them up and then they have to actually physically fix them. So they have this technology that like puts new ligaments and skin and blah, 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 and they actually fix them. So, and it like wipes their thing. They go back and it's just like fucking. Yeah, but it doesn't like completely wipe it. Groundhog Day. Yeah, Exactly. But so there was some bug in that code where, like, one of, and this is the first episode, so I'm not really spoiling things, but the, um, <clears throat> the dad of one of the, like, the main characters, the robot, found this, like, picture, uh, from, like, New York City it's or like something. It's like some iRobot shit. Yeah, and it starts to, like, question the reality of things, right? And, um, Becomes there's this, idiot. there's this crazy, you know who Ed Harris is? No. He's, uh, you would. Is he, he a was scientist in, guy? No, Ed Harris is a um, really famous actor. Just Google his name. You look at his face and you'll know who it is immediately. Um, he's like a... Oh, yeah, I, I know who that is. Yeah. yeah, exactly. He's like a bad guy, sort of. But he's the he's guy like, that plays a coach in every movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's a guest that's been coming for like 30 years and he like wants to understand like how it works or whatever. So he's like gaming the system like... He's 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 pretty badass. But anyway, that's enough about that show. That show is fucking awesome. You should definitely like. That's an interesting it. premise for a show. Uh, it's like the new H. It's like the new Game of Thrones, basically. Like really high budget. Like uh, HBO is putting a lot into it. Um, it's two. It's only two episodes into season one too. So, should be really really good. 
What's it called? West what? Westworld. Westworld. Yeah. Yeah, look up the reviews. My, I'll put that on my phone. It's Sorry. retarded. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway. That actually, like, at first that sounded really stupid. And then I was like, oh, wow. Well. Yeah, you got you to gotta give it, like, one or two episodes. Like, well, there's only two episodes. After the first episode, I was like, that's kind of cool. The After premise the has one, me hooked. Yeah. Like, when, it, when you were talking about, all right, so it's a saloon out in the West. Right. But it's robots. So I was like, fucking kill me. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> Right. This sounds dumb already, but yeah, that's yeah. actually kind of a well, cool. And then there's like apparently the corporation that runs it has some higher overarching purpose for the whole thing, which they haven't gotten to. They've just sort of alluded to. So there's a lot in there that, uh, you know, a lot of different ways. That this it can is kind of like a, a lot like a iRobot, it seems like, but, you know, Maybe. whatever. I don't mind. Yeah. I'll check it out. Yeah. Anyway. Um... What else you got? Uh, let me look. Oh, did you see that fucking video? The the Halenka video I put out? No. It's a minute long. You should probably... I'll link it to you so you can watch it. <coughs> this shit... Uh, this is not the reason I stopped... I'm stopping playing WoW. This, this entertained the shit out of me. But, like, the amount of damage I take from this is fucking absurd. Yeah, let me link it to you right here. Watch this. It's a minute long. Let me know when you've when you've got it queued up. Let me know when you've got it queued up. That's I'm playing right now. Opening opening hands. Yeah, but watch this damage that I take. I'm very happy with how how meme how well memed this video turned out. Why does your cat? Why do you spaz left and right the whole time? It's a it's an old habit from Rathalish King. What the fuck? Yeah. You just got what? mad. Wait, what happened to you? It was uh, Thalkiel's consumption into Imp Implosion from Demo Lock. That was all the Demo Lock. Basically. But yeah, look at look at my health there, like where I zoom in. That's fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> wow. And you don't like playing because of that? No, no, no. That's that. that that's the, the demo locks are. I don't think they're that. They're 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 decent, but they're not like that's not. That's like a cheesy thing that never happens. Basically, like I I could have survived that if we would have like stopped him a little bit, but the fact that that's possible is kind of hilarious. Right. That video kind of blew up a little bit for my dead get, YouTube channel. At least you didn't get one shot, like the fucking warrior thing. You basically did, though. I you basically like, did, you, yeah. You got like three-quarter shot. I could have been one shot. It, well, what's crazy is that dude could have set that up even better than he did. Like he, That wasn't the, the optimal situation for him. If he would have had a doom tick hit at the same time, then I would have actually gotten one shot. Right. 100 to zero. But um, I could have... I could have Stop that. The thing is, is it's pretty telegraphed with the way it works. Are you familiar with how demonology works? Yeah, for the most part. So you know how they get all their imps out and there's that implosion talent and they blow them all up for the damage? Yeah, I haven't actually ever used that talent, but... I yeah, it's, it's not really that good except for the cheese of demo like that. And that that's, that's, that's the reason why it's good or usable. Um, but so what, the way it works is they get all their pets out and then their, their artifact weapon sucks the sucks some of the life out of their pets and then shoots it all for a fuckload of damage. Right. So what he does is he he builds out all these pets, takes the health from them, shoots out this giant fucking Thalkiel's consumption that hits for like a million plus and then blows all his imps up. And it's just fucking crazy damage. And if you do that and combined with a doom tick, it's bananas. Right. Yeah, I thought it was pretty entertaining. <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I actually do really well on, uh, so I've, um, I play on a PvP server, not by choice, but because, uh, that's where everybody else fucking plays. It's like a legacy thing, they don't want to all move, so I moved over here. And, uh, this, man, I tell you what, dude, like, I loathe world PvP. Like, I, like, I'm at work, right? And I'm, like, not really supposed to be playing my fucking shit at work, obviously. 
And I'm just trying to get this one last quest done because I had to catch up on my emissary stuff because uh, I was out of the factory for a couple days. And this fucking faggot blood death knight. Like, it's always a tank, dude. It's always a tank. I I couldn't kill him on my boomkin because he just like it just. You you can't kill him in general. They're broken in world PvP. Yeah, so uh, just you know, it was in that little fell soul hold area from Suramar, and it was where you like shoot the thing, and I couldn't even get in the cannon because he could rip me out of it, and he like killed me over and over, and I would just like res, and I'd be like, all right, maybe he moves on, whatever. No, fucker would just hung out and just like camped my shit. And I was like so irritated because I was like just trying to, I, I don't care, right? Like I wasn't mad. I wasn't trying to get revenge or whatever. I just wanted to like finish my shit so I could like go back to actual work. Yeah, it was fucking stupid. So that happens, but no one can kill me when I'm fucking vengeance, dude. Like, can I, I It's because tank, tanks are just broken in world PvP. Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy actually being like questing on my fucking demon hunter and I don't on my fucking boomkin because of that reason. I haven't had any issues. With, maybe it's because I play a stealth class, and like any time there would potentially be an issue, I can just shadow mold and stealth, and it's like no big deal. But I play on Dark Spear, which is a notorious world PvP server, and I never had really any issues. I mean, I yeah. had like a, a few. Like I had a guardian druid one time that was like chasing me around, but he never killed me. It was just being annoying. Yeah. The other thing too, like I had a fucking feral last night. Like I'm just in the middle, like fighting this, uh, you know, world boss mob or whatever. He just comes up, and I'm like, I'm leveling on my Death Knight, so I'm like, level like 106, and he's like a geared 110, just out of stealth, just fucking blows my shit up, and then moves on, and I'm like, oh my fuck you, like I get so mad because I'm like, yeah, I never, I never, that been wasn't into even ganking. a challenge. Yeah, I've never been into killing people that are not at least the same level I am. Right. Like I used to go in like Toll Brad and Cataclysm. And, like, <laughs> like I have this video where I kill like 40 some people in a row in world pvp like there's just a whole bunch of horde out in toll barad because they won the toll barad game so they have the the access to the raid so there's no real reason for me to be there but i just know there's a bunch of horde there so i just run around killing them all and it's like a probably like a 20 minute video and i'm just killing like guy after guy after guy after guy and uh it's, it's pretty, pretty i got fun. right how did tell you i got wrecking ball on my uh on a disc priest on my level 19 disc priest yeah. Yeah. Uh probably the only fun I've ever had in WoW PvP, honestly. But I'll you know, I'll probably do like that aside, like I'll probably do some um WoW PvP as soon as I get like all my dudes to like one ten. Cause like the um what is it? Prestige like looks and things and rewards are pretty cool. Like that mount, the prestigious werewolf or whatever, comes from like um twenty of the well, this isn't PvP, but the little world quest PvP things. And you do twenty of those apparently, and you get like a wolf or something. It looks pretty badass. So, uh, yeah. I like how those world PvP quests have nothing to do with world PvP, which is amazing. Because then I do them and I get honor. <laughs> like I'm like honor level ten or some shit, and I have done zero PvP. It's really nice. Uh, you would argue that it's probably not nice. Oh, I just think it's kind of dumb they call them PvP quests when it's just, like, kill these. Like, there's not even any incentive for the other faction to, like, defend that thing. Right. Like, there's, like, why even call them PvP quests? I, all that makes me wonder, like, is it actually a different, like, if I'm Alliance, is that a different thing? Yes, that you go to a completely different thing. What would oh. make sense is if, like, let's say you had a world quest to kill Horde npcs at whatever garrison thing right it would make sense if the horde had or if the alliance your horde right if the other faction had the same thing defend this thing and kill whatever players right, there. right, right. so but they don't that. do that right and it's they can obviously for, have npcs for both sides fighting each other and whatever but it's it's made for like uber like the pvpers that don't want to pvp but still kind of want honor people like me uh, well I, I, i'll be honest i don't give a shit about world pvp all i played for was arena so i didn't mind either that i didn't have to like i don't care about world pvp at all i don't even care about battlegrounds anymore all yeah. i cared about was 3v3 arena and that was it right yeah 
Because that's the only PvP that actually matters, to be honest. Like, nobody gives a fuck about BGs or rated BGs or world um, PvP. If I was going to PvP, it would definitely be uh, BGs, though. Because, like, I don't have, like, PvP friends. You know what I mean? Well, so I mean, I like, from, like... Well, I know, like, back in the day, people used to really care about, like, dude, I just go into BGs and wreck people. Now, like, no one cares if you can do that. Like, there's no one, no one's watching, like, wow, PvP videos of guys going, like, ham in Battlegrounds. Like, that era <laughs> is dead. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm with you. Which kind of makes me sad, because it was a lot more, I don't know if it was a lot more, it was a lot more fun. Um, I don't know, people just don't, don't really care anymore. Right. I guess because the game is old and it's kind of dead or dying. Did you see that? Um, actually, it isn't. Did you see how many subs they have? Are they releasing their subs now? That it's no, like you didn't see the number. Like Chilton told some German magazine, dude, ten point two million subs. That makes sense. So, being that their highest number ever was twelve million, I I don't know if you can actually say it's dying. I mean, it'll fall off. They'll probably be like. I don't know, eight or nine. That's, yeah. Well, I mean, it is a good expansion, but I don't know. The PvP definitely has lost some of its, uh, I don't know, like that, that like, community there. It doesn't seem to be focused on it. Like, they don't yeah, see it's, it. it's a PvE. Like, the game is very good from a PvE perspective right now. I, uh, well, I also think that, like, I don't I, know. I kind of like the direction the game's going, though. Oh, you know, it's like, definitely I, good. Like, if I was still really into WoW and I hadn't gotten burned from, like, the previous three expansions... The balancing then... thing makes it really nice. Like, the fact that... Oh, yeah, no. It balance... has the potential to be awesome. But I don't think they're ever going to get that, like, cool BG shit back. Like, I, I think that, that, that ship has sailed. Because, like, so much of, like, RBGs is just tainted. Like, the entire rated battleground. Like, the whole rated battleground thing could have been amazing for WoW. But... All it was was like DDoSing and terrain exploits and just tons and tons of cheating that went on for years and years and years. And I think they've actually gotten around to cleaning it up, but it's too late. Like everybody's just like, who cares about fuck about RBGs? Right. Like on Twitch, you don't see the top RBG guys streaming because no one gives a fuck. Right. Did you uh? <clears throat> did you see that uh, Wildstar's next update? Um, they removed the faction barriers for pretty much the entire game. That's so like smart. So like, they have to. Guild, uh, guilds, parties, raids, uh, dungeons, uh, PvP. Like, I the only thing that they didn't answer, which I I would assume is the case, is like, I can't like go into uh. Um, the Exile City. Right. As a Dominion. Like, I assume that's the case. Like, that would be really, really dumb if that, like, they took that away. It's like, we're friends now. Right. So, uh, yeah. I think factions are uh, going to be a dead thing in MMOs. They, they really are kind of stupid if you think about it. Like, why split the player base up? Right. What Crowfall is doing is nice, though. There's no factions, but you essentially create your own faction. So if you're your your like little guild of people is essentially your own faction. If you want it to be, right? So if your faction is shit, you just get absorbed by another guild. So oh. I don't know. It's smart. I think it's way smarter to do shit like that. I think uh was it Star Wars Galaxies? There was some other game that did that where you could like be your own faction. And it led to some cool shit. Uh, I don't I'm, remember. I'm really looking forward to the open, open sandboxy shit with uh, Crowfall, and you know, because I, I never got into like Eve Online, and just hearing the stories from that game is sick. Right. Yeah, I don't know. <coughs> what else you got? Uh, let me look. You know, I haven't done shit this weekend other than play that fucking Infinite Warfare beta, hoping I'd warm up to it. Um. Yeah. You know that Fizerp guy we talked about? That that pro COD player that, that died? Uh, yeah. We, we talked about him? So he had a... He, they live-streamed his funeral on Twitch. Wow. I, I didn't watch it, but, like... Dude, could you... Could you imagine, uh... 
like the, the, the preacher or whatever. We're all here gathered today to honor the live, the life of the Fizerp, life, <laughs> the life of Fizerp, pro cod player, excellent Fizerp. human being. Can we get some kappas in the chat? Wow. Like, like, <laughs> Oh, uh, you laugh! It hurt, hurt my face. Let <laughs> me get some Kappa, Kappa pride. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Like, the world is weird. I, I, I wonder if anybody tried to like sabotage that shit with like a DDoS. Like, there's got to be some scum fucking individual. Like, I'm not against the whole like live streaming your funeral thing, even though it's kind of hilarious to even just say that it's a fucking thing that happened. Right. What if he had a donation? Dude, imagine if they had the donation text-to-speech thing on at his funeral. Wow. Oh my god, dude. Could you fucking imagine that? Like, uh... Yeah. Dude, no, you have a Twitch funeral and all it is is, like, like the people that show up are, like, the Twitch cam horse. They've all got their tits out and shit. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> dude, like if, I have a funeral, if I have a funeral... And I'm still like, and Twitch is still a thing. I'm doing that. I'm gonna have like text to speech on with like racist donations during my funeral, with like titties out and like just blatantly terrible shit. Have you uh? Did you see um? Uh, you know who Mia Khalifa is right? The uh, porn star that ISIS once did, right? Right. Well, she's retired apparently, and she's like a sports blogger now. Dude, it's so f- career change. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny, dude. Because like, um, Chad Kelly is the quarterback for uh, Ole Miss, and he's the um, the grandson of Jim Kelly, who was the Buffalo Bills court- Hall of Fame quarterback for a number of years. Um, he blows up her fucking DMs like all the time on the regular. And she puts him on blast for it, like, like publicly. <laughs> yeah, and so like the very last one, she tweeted out like, "Ole Miss uh, at Ole Miss football," which is the actual football program. It was like, <laughs> "Come get your man," and it was like him fucking saying like, uh, "That last time you put me on blast was kind of funny." And she's like, "I'm glad you have a good sense of humor about it or whatever." And then he's like, "Yeah." So anyway, do you want to Facetime? <laughs> and she's like. Oh my fucking god! Was I not clear enough last time? And then put him on blast. I kind of like it when when dudes are like that though. They just like keep going for it, right. even though it's very obvious. But like, I just think it's hilarious. See, there's two ways you can like if you're Chad Kelly, right? There's two ways you can take that. The first is you can kind of get all like embarrassed about it and put it in a kerfuffle or whatever, and then like just like it just not it's not good for yourself. And the second way is just to be like. Yeah, I mean, she's hot. Like, what? Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> like, I'm going to blow up the DMs until she says yes. Like, that's the much better way. I just like that this dude doesn't give a fuck. Like, he obviously knew that, that he would, like, she was going to do that again, right? Well, it's he just whenever did. he gets drunk. It's whenever he, <laughs> he gets drunk, he blows up her DMs. It's just fucking funny. She's the same porn star that uh, there was some dude who was uh, playing a football game. He was a pro football player uh, in uh, Miami. And he was like, Yo, I'm coming to Miami or something. And he like he blew up her DMs too, trying to trying to uh, trying to bang her. And she was like, uh, "I got a boyfriend. His dick game is a number one or something." Like, uh, so it's pretty funny, dude. But I saw that this week. <clears throat> My fucking Florida Gators are number one in the East after Tennessee got blown out by f- like fucking fifty points at Alabama or versus Alabama. Apparently, Virginia Tech is uh, actually like. Pretty well ranked. I haven't kept up. Uh, what is it? BCS rankings? What it is, right? I haven't. I haven't looked. I haven't kept up with football in so fucking long. But apparently, I don't know if they. Virginia Tech is thirty-seven now. They were unranked at the start of the season. What's Florida? Uh, fifteen. I think. Florida seventy-one. Is that what? the same Florida? No. I don't know what I'm looking at then. Let me look University of Florida football? We're like number 15. Uh, this is what I'm looking at. And it's the control F Florida. Like Florida State's up number one, but that's not the same Florida. It has just, just Florida down there at 71. Is that right? Uh, no, that is not right. 
What uh, year are you looking at? Uh, I just typed in BCS rankings. I'm assuming this is current. Florida might... State is definitely not number one. Okay, I, I, I haven't kept up, so I had no idea. BCS rankings. Florida State got blown out at home. Why the fuck is it? Why the fuck are they? Was the top Google search result not current? Okay, this makes sense. Alabama's number one. Go to the yep. AP top 25. Florida is 15. Florida State's 13. Right. Which makes sense. Oh, Virginia Tech just got dropped from the rankings. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. I, I just hit control F Virginia Tech. Yeah, they just got dropped. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, it's been a it's been a good weekend. So I feel bad though. She's like tired as shit because like she was she sleeps on the weekends, and like I fucking um, like I basically woke her ass up today and just was like, hey, you need to fucking come here and uh, get the baby. So it's gonna be a fun week. You gotta what? What was it? But you got I got a podcast to do. Come get this fucking yeah. dream no, crusher. No, 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 like, no, 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 like, um, cause like, you know, like she was upstairs with me in my little like game area, and uh, that's why I was like, uh, I was, you know, I had to feed her or whatever, and like after my nose erupted, I was like, oh shit, like I can't take this baby down the stairs, I'll probably fall on my fucking self. So she'd only been asleep for like an hour, and I woke her up, and I was like, hey, I can get the kid, like I'm about to die. Uh, so, anyway. You make it sound so fun, dude. Like, every time you bring up your kid, it's just, like, always a, like, a, sounds like it's a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, that's great. You should do it. You mm. should have five of them. Five of them yourself. Uh, and speaking <laughs> of that shit, so, uh, I, I got, uh, have you ever heard of that Dave Ramsey guy? Yeah, the money he's that, guy. He's the financial guy that gives people, like, really pretty basic advice but like his show is pretty entertaining just because people call in and uh like it's fun to watch it just to see how like do you ever do that where you go on like facebook or you just go and look at some shit where it's like you think you're doing like like you're like a little bit um i don't want to say like i'm unhappy with how my life is but you know how sometimes you're like you get a little uh what's the word where you're like coasting you're not really like kicking ass but you're also not like you're in a rut not really in a rut. That's the wrong word. You're kind of like on cruise control, I guess. So you're right. like, you know, I'm not really kick, But, like, then you look on Facebook and see, like, all these people that are really fucking up. And it's right. just fun to get a little ego. What the fuck? Uh, sorry, I'm busy. Um, anyway, it's fun to just go on Facebook or, like, on this. For example, like, this this thing I was listening to was uh, this this woman called in. Or this, this father or this, this daughter called in. And said, hey, my daughter's in some debt. Uh, she's in $60,000 in debt. And uh, we don't know where to where to turn. And he's like, well, what's the, what's the debt from? And he's like, it's, it's medical. And he's like, okay, what's what, what, what was the medical debt from? And she's, he's like, multiple pregnancies. He's like, how many kids do you have? Six. How old is she? 23. Wow. Do you know who the father is? No, they all have separate fathers. And she called him into the show about that. No, her father called in the show. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. All and she ha apparently has six kids at 23, all from different dudes. Is she white? I don't know. It sounded white. That sounded white. All those kids. Probably half black. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucked up. No, I, I don't know what she's can. Well, right, yeah, they're half black, exactly. Yeah, that was the joke. That yeah. was the joke. Got it. I'm with you. Um, yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's fun. It's I I get a lot of enjoyment. Is that fucked up? Like, am I some sort of a psychopath for getting enjoyment out of that? Where it's just like, yeah, you know, I'm a little. Uh, I don't know. It just makes me feel good about myself. Where it's just like, wow, I'm a little. Uh, unhappy with how slow things are going right now let's just load up the dave ramsey show and just see how shitty other people are doing make myself yeah. feel better 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I don't think all of that's terrible. You know, it's like... Uh, I don't know, $60,000 in debt with six kids? All from different dads that are all absent? That's pretty bad. Yeah, that's pretty horrible. Um, I, I can't complain, meant- though. I, my shit's been going... I can't complain about what I've been doing. Right. How I've been doing, so... I'm on the fucking... On the warpath right now. That's it, man. I uh, I got people coming in for uh, BlizzCon. It's going to be a good time. I got like uh, four or five uh, people that are coming to stay in my house for BlizzCon. This will be kind of cool. So what's the uh, – what do you think the big reveal is going to be? I don't know, dude. Like uh, I was looking at the schedule and I only glanced at the schedule. Um, so – but I didn't see like – it was like World of Warcraft, what's next, right? And that was like yeah. – so an hour. I have a feeling that legacy servers are dead. That's if they don't announce legacy servers at BlizzCon, it's never going to happen. I think the chances of them announcing legacy servers at BlizzCon are very low. Yeah, I don't. I don't think so. I, I hope not. Like, I hope that's. I hope they don't put resources into that. Yeah, that would be stupid. I don't know. People are. People get so butt hurt when we say that, but like, it would be dumb. Yeah, for sure. <clears throat> um, I don't know, man. Uh, there's gonna be there's a lot of like WoW Arena shit and like Overwatch finals. Yeah, stuff. dude, Blizzard is really trying with WoW esports, which I appreciate because I enjoy watching it. Even though I'm not playing WoW, I still like to watch it. Um, but dude, where was that shit back when it mattered? It's so it's so tragic, man. Well, now it's Overwatch, right? Like now it's like that's like the fucking uh... Overwatch is a badass game. Yeah, it's a good after game. after playing it again from and when I didn't play it for so long, like I was expecting to come back to it and be like, oh yeah, you know, same old Overwatch. You know, I played it a lot, got a little bit, you know, burned. I didn't really get burned out on. It. I just you know, Legion came out and I was playing that. But like after playing it again, I'm like, yeah, this is fucking still a really good game. Uh, yeah, yeah. Looking like forward I, to Sombra. I, I still have characters cool. I still haven't played Anna really. Um, I didn't like her very much, but I'm not very good at her because she's a hard character. That's probably the highest skill cap character in the game. Like it's a hard character to play. Right. Um, I just got on and tried out her abilities, like the fucking dart, and then the grenade, and then the uh, sleep, and then the like, s- like stim pack fucking thing. Yeah, watching the high level players play her is nuts because they actually hit the shots and do bananas healing and i'm sitting there like i'm a good player but i'm not like good with like snipers like widowmaker like i'm good at zarya which is a very different beast uh right <laughs> yeah um yeah <laughs> sorry i'm a little tired today man i've been on like three hours <laughs> of sleep i haven't watched i used to watch seagull a lot and like those guys um, I wish they would make like a fucking. They should make more. Uh, oh, you saw the. Did I, were, did I talk to you about the? You saw the leak of Sombra, right? Like the. Yeah. Sp- um, that looks pretty good. Like that design looks pretty badass. Yeah, hope- she's got abilities that like um, silence players, which where they can't use any of their abilities. That's kind of an I, interesting mechanic. I didn't, see, I didn't see that. Where'd you see that? Uh, I is think that part it, of the leak too? uh, I don't know if it's like, obviously no one knows if this is actually legit or not, but what I read is that her ultimate might be like a silence to where like, imagine, imagine like the enemy team is running in and then they just can't use any of their abilities. Like they can't use any of their special like E and shift abilities cause she like hacks into them or whatever. <laughs> An AOE or a single target? I have no idea. But an AOE it, would be like cool. an AOE would be cool, right? She like runs in and does like some sort of like hack thing where she has to get close, kind of like maybe like Reaper does with his ult, but it just silences everybody, which would be cool, right? Because imagine, um, imagine a Reinhardt's coming in, right, and he's got his shield up, and all the people are like behind it or whatever, and Sombra runs in with some sort of mobility skill and just goes poop, and just the shield goes down and they just get blown up. Like I don't know, that that that's I think is a cool mechanic. I would be curious to see if that's actually what it is. Right. I'm pumped. She's got <laughs> SMG as her primary gun, which is interesting. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, dude. I'm I like, saved up my competitive points for if I so I can get a gold gun with her if she's badass. Oh, like it doesn't unlock all of them. No, the, you don't know how the competitive points work. I thought it unlocked all of them for your account. No, no, no. So the way it works uh, is that at the end of every season, you get a uh, you get competitive points based off of your rank. So I got to rank sixty nine. And if you got to 65 or above, you got the maximum amount of competitive points, which was 300, which was enough to buy a gold weapon outright. So I held on to that because I was waiting to see what Sombra was so I could be one of the few people to have the Sombra weapon when that came out. If I liked her as a character. If I don't, I'll just get it for Zarya. Um, so, yeah. Oh, so like you get one. That's retarded. Well, you, like, you, I... you get currency to buy it for any character you want. Yeah, every but competitive, it's one. every competitive, yeah, it's one. Yeah, that's kind of one. Dope. One uh, competitive, one gold gun costs, uh, I think, three thousand competitive points. Right. So, pretty much, they made it so that like, well, they wanted to be want rare. all of them. If you want all of them, like, it's gonna be you're gonna have to play fucking what, twenty seasons or whatever. Yeah, which is fine. I think that's fine because yeah. if, if you see somebody that's got a gold gun with a certain character you're like wow that guy's legit like he's really into that character right except for me uh if i get it for sombra where it's like why is this this guy's shit why does he have a gold gun <laughs> right right oh he saved it oh that makes sense yeah you probably will be like one of the only people with that though because i'm sure Which everyone else I, saved well, it well there's a few other people that i think are doing it but um yeah, I've seen a lot of gold guns, so I think most people spent theirs for the most part. But I have enough c points for almost two gold guns. Oh, really? Yeah. You, you only get more points at the end of the season, right? No, you get um, you get a little bit for, for winning games. I think you get 10 per win. Oh, right. And so it 30 takes three, wins. It takes 3,000 to get a gun. Oh. So 300. 300. I don't know if I've played that many Overwatch games. <laughs> I, th I probably have. Yeah, I think I have almost 300 wins in competitive Something like that. I'm close. Oh, nice. I uh, I missed that game a lot. It's a good I game. noticed. I noticed that like I guess I had really turned down like my mouse sensitivity because like I expected it to be a lot crazier than it was, but when I logged, it was kind of slow, which is kind of what I think I ended up playing it with just to get like the the uh, better Your bearings like, back. Get your yeah. sea legs. Uh, yeah, yeah, but I don't know. Like I said, I mean, WoW is gonna probably maintain my focus until I get like all of my classes up. It's uh, we've we've scaled back a lot. Like we were playing like every night, like Mythic Pluses and uh, all other shit, and now it's pretty much like one or two nights a week of organized stuff. And the rest of it is just uh, uh, casual stuff. <laughs> so I like it better like that. Did you hear about the Philippines? What's going on in the Philippines? Uh, no. So I know, like, for the most part, we don't give a shit because those aren't real people. But it's pretty crazy what's going on. Uh, the Philippines, the president of the Philippines is going around killing drug dealers. Just outright. They've killed 3,600 people so far. And oh, wow. 732,000 people have turned themselves in to avoid being killed. Wait, so what's the deal if you're just hanging out? Yeah, like... th this new president in the Philippines said he's going to clean the streets up and get rid of the drugs. And it looks like he is in a very brutal way. And he literally compared himself to Hitler in a positive way. He's like, Hitler massacred x whatever amount of jews and he's like if i have to do that then so be it like uh -huh. it's very strange he said that in english too like it wasn't like something that he said like that it was weirdly translated no he said it in english it's it's fucking weird what's going on there but seven hundred thirty-two thousand people have turned themselves in and this is this is obviously from a week ago so it's probably more than that what i don't understand is like okay so like if you turn yourself in, they're not going to kill you. But if you, what what's the condition for them killing you? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it must not be much. <laughs> Apparently not. Wow. 
Is it like one of those things where they even need burden of proof, or they're just like, oh? I don't think you killed thirty six hundred people without like. I don't think there's a lot of due process going on. Yeah, probably not. I mean, maybe. We need more of that. But it should be like Trump twenty sixteen. No, Trump supporters, right? It's like you walk around and they're like, "Who are you going to vote for?" I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. Blam! Who are you going to vote for? I'm going to vote for uh, Hillary Clinton. They're like, "You may live." Yeah. <laughs> it actually be the opposite of that if Trump gets elected. Yeah, well, he's who, not even who did gonna... you vote for? I voted for Hillary Clinton. Blam. Oh. Yep. You want to do the comments from last week? Yeah, how about it? I don't. I don't know if there's that many. Like a lot of these comments, like I don't even read because they're not like I don't know they're just like random right um nobody could find the 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 name of that girl what girl the one that I was fucking had the e-boner over no one could find her I tried doing like a reverse google image search which brought me to 4chan and I didn't it brought up this dead end right makes me sad uh, I came here for Super Meat Boy four years ago and stayed. That's kind of cool because that was a really long time ago. Started watching. Have you seen that Luke Cage show? Uh, no. On Netflix? That's good. You should check that out. I heard it's like 90% black people. It is. That's not like a reason that I wouldn't watch it. I just, I just heard it. That's true. Yeah, I wear my pillowcase over my head while I watch it to keep the, the rays away. Right. I want to... Don't want to do to absorb too much of it. Um, right. uh, that doesn't happen. You have to manage. I don't know what that comment's about. Blah blah blah. blah. Uh, Tally. Somebody wants Tally as a guest. I don't think Didn't, Tally would do it. No, I don't think he would either. I'm permanently banned from his chat. Are you really? Yeah, for from some shit that happened in Star Wars: The Old Republic. What did you do? I ganked him. He was, level, he was max level. Okay. But it was in the middle of uh, the whole, like, Dara McTire ruin drama shit, because he was in that ruin guild, which was just a guild full of fucking shitters back then uh, for SWOTOR. So, like, I don't know. I killed him a few times, and I don't know if I went to his chat talking shit, but I just, like, went into his t- chat and was talking, and then I just got banned. I might have been talking shit. I, I can't remember why I got banned or if there was a reason, but that was the catalyst. Did you camp him or did you just uh, did you just kill him? Uh, I just killed him. him. You no, I didn't camp like his body, but like I killed him a few times just because we were out in the world. It was in um, it was in the world PvP zone, and there was like quests and shit. So I just kept running into him. And you would kill him every time. I killed him a few times. <laughs> That's kind of dick. Well, dude, it was uh, the fucking PvP zone. Right. And it was in the middle of all the guild drama shit. He was probably, like, fucking, like, trying to stream, too, and just trying to, like, show off his shit. You're like, he was. He was streaming. It was funny. It was funny. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of funny. Uh, uh, let me... Would you rather have a kid at age 20 or HIV at age 30? A kid at 20. Kid at 20. Yeah. Kid at 20. Yeah, one you of them... just put that fucker up for adoption, right? Right. Have you seen the new Shameless? No. Oh, my God, dude. It's so fucking hilarious. Like, <laughs> she, uh... She doesn't want her baby. Um, what's the chick's name the, with the big tit? Deborah. Debbie. She doesn't want her little that fucking... That must be a new character, because I don't even know who the fuck that is. No, it's the daughter. It's not Fiona. It's the, the little red-headed fat daughter. Oh, wow. See, I'm on the... I'm at the point where she's sli- like still like a child. Oh, yeah. She's a kid. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to tell you what happens. But it's, it's funny. Oh, I can imagine. It's fucking funny. She uh, doesn't want it, so she tries to drop it off in front of the fire station with a note in the thing that says, like, give me a good life. And the fucking Dude, that, that show gets that show is like funny, but it also is like really dark at times. It, like it's like the it's like Scrubs. You ever you ever see Scrubs? Yeah. Well, they, well Scrubs, Dude, Scrubs Scrubs is like a happy go lucky show until it's like not. And yeah, then it, it, try, it tried to rip your you heart out. Like that was the problem with Scrubs is it? It tried to like, it tried to like, 
give you like these life lessons and shit. Um, I never watched enough. Like, I only watched the reruns that were obviously reruns of the good episodes. But was that one of those shows that just went on too long, or wasn't it like a pretty well received show? Yeah, it was. It was. I don't know. All the episodes I've seen of it were really good. Where it's just it like, like it's like this happy go lucky show, and then it's just like, what the fuck just? Ha-? It's like that. Up. Have you seen Up that movie? No. Oh, you haven't seen that? That's that's a it's a Pixar movie, and like you start this Pixar movie off right, and uh, I'm gonna spoil it for you because it's like old as shit. But like, y- you load the Pixar movie right, and you're expecting like this happy go lucky kids movie. And the fucking thing starts off with like the saddest sequence of all time, where, where the it starts off happy, right? This this young kid meets this young girl, and it's like the story of them growing old together, and it's going through their whole life history and shit, where they meet and they grow up and they do all these like adventurous shit, and then, and then like they get married and they have a baby, and they're like okay, and then you see her pregnant, and then the baby dies. So you just see the mother crying and then the the wife gets like all sorts of like health issues and like the guy is taking care of her and in she's the like opening s- scenes in of the, the opening movie. scenes of the movie and, and it's like this really sad like intro that's like it was like playing this happy music and it's like all sad and shit and this guy's life is falling apart and his wife is slowly withering away his child died uh, in in the womb, and you're just like, what am I watching? This is a fucking Pixar movie. Wow, dude, it's a, it's fucking crazy, dude. Up is another one of those movies where it's like, god damn, Pixar, fuck. Right. Uh, <clears throat> nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like. Yeah. Well, yeah. So sh- or, that show was like that, where it would try to like teach you a lesson after it was funny, which like some people liked, I guess. Um. But, uh, yeah. I don't know what we're talking about after that. Our bro is Shameless. Shameless is good, though. Shameless is, like... I, I like that Shameless doesn't care about being, like, quote-unquote offensive. Shameless? They don't care about being shameless? Right. Like, like no one in that well, show... What's the whole is, point of that show? What's the point of it? I said that's the whole point of it. Right. Which is really good, because, like... A lot of shows are like worried that, you know, they they need to have some. I don't some know. That's an H- isn't that HBO? Yeah. They don't have to worry about that shit. They don't have advertisers to cater to. Oh, uh, it's Showtime, by the way. Showtime. Or whatever. It's it's a paid programming thing. Right. Um. Yeah. So. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, some people are glad to have you back. Yay. Um. We need another uh, guest, though. We need another guest. Yeah, well, you, 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 yeah. I thought it was kind of funny that you, uh, you sent me like a DM like two hours before the show saying. I didn't should... think I was going to be able to make it, bro. I thought I was going to have to go to the hospital. <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? And then I, I was, was like, funny. It was like, yeah, you should get a guest. I'm like, well, fuck, thanks for the notice. I mean, right. I mean, getting a guest is harder than you'd imagine, man. No, I, right, I got it. I mean, well, I, I mean, I can Scheduling pluck somebody. Thing. I could pluck somebody. I have friends. Who, who is it? I don't know. Any of my friends that are online right now would like to talk about while well on a podcast. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like, I thought I was going to have to go to the fucking hospital. <laughs> you don't understand. Like, and eventually you're going to be like, no, you're just making this shit up. But, uh, yeah. That's why I was like, you might want to get a guess because uh, I don't know how I'm going to sound. I mean, I sound okay. I sound sick, but, um, yeah. Anyway, some guy said he did a seven plus for Mythic with a Druid tank. No Boomkin, no Rogue, no Hunter, no Tricks of the Trade, no Master Spell, and he's a Fury Warrior. Okay, I guess that's hard. I don't know. It's not really hard. A seven is easy. Uh, presidents are scrutinized more than normal people. The reason the GOP is running for him right now is because he's judged differently than normal celebrities. It'll hurt him. It'll hurt because he is losing support from the party. Yeah, there was that one guy that was like super triggered that we said like it didn't matter about like his stupid like fucking uh, bus comments. Like, 
Dude, there's a big, big difference between like actually sexually assaulting someone and, and telling some other dude like in a bragging way that you grab chicks by the puss. Yeah, there's a big difference. I think anybody that's, I don't know, has a, has has a, a brain. fucking brain. All right. Yeah. Like if see, and if I was Trump too, like my strategy would be a little different. Like he was like, oh, you know, it was a long time ago, locker room banter, fucking, blah blah blah, right? Like if I got up there, I'd be like, yeah, and uh, I'm also extremely bisexual, and uh, I like to eat uh, shit. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, you just you, know, you just come this. out and say like all the like ridiculous guy stuff that's like clearly not true. Right. Yeah. Exactly. And. Uh, <laughs> you know, like uh, my fantasy. You know, like just I don't know, just retarded things, just to prove that like you can say whatever the fuck you want. It's doing it is the actual like, you know, thing. And I'm sorry, dude. Like it's just too sketchy. Like he touched you at a party 20 years ago. I haven't even just, kept up with that shit because it's just so ridiculous. It's fucking retarded, dude. Like there was like a there was a, a hashtag trending on Twitter today where it was like Hillary groped me. Where people were just like making up because like everybody got so sick of the Donald. This was trending worldwide number one today. It was a uh, Hillary groped me, and it was just people saying on Twitter how Hillary Clinton had, had sexually assaulted them. Everybody was just making up ridiculous lies because it's just so absurd at this point that everyone's coming out and saying Donald Trump like raped them in an alley. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a comment I got to laugh out of. So, you know how I said on the last podcast I did shrugs with two 75-pound dumbbells? Yeah. This guy this guy thought I meant two, two 275-pound dumbbells. Like, this guy thought that I was doing shrugs with a 275-pound dumbbell in each hand. Which, I can kind of see how he thought I said that, because, you know, I do shrugs with two 75-pound dumbbells, right? Because that's just the way it sounds. Right. But, dude, could you imagine... Some guy doing shrugs with 275 pound dumbbells. I'm pretty sure dumbbells don't go over 100. No, they 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 well they do they do, but no one. I've I don't think anyone on earth could do shrugs with 200. Maybe that mountain motherfucker could. That's a lot of weight. Yeah, but are you sure there's over 100 pound dumbbells? Oh yeah. I don't know, dude. Like, hang on. Dude, there are there are dumbbells that weigh more than 100 pounds. 150 pound dumbbell. Yeah, there's, there, dude, there's tons, dude. They're, they just have these dumbbells that are, uh, they're, they're, there's a, you, you Google search it, there's a guy doing chest press with 150. Oh, yeah, 150 pounders. Yeah. Okay. No, they make yeah. them, dude, they make them pretty, pretty heavy. Hang on. Let's see if there's a 200. <laughs> That's retarded. Dude, they, they, well, they make really them, dumbbell. That's they like make a, them to where you just, you just screw the weights in and you can just make, you make a fucking 500 pounds if you wanted to. Look at this shit, dude. This, this shit fucking looks dude's like, a beast. This, this shit looks like a canister. Like, look at that picture. Yeah. That's retarded. Like, I'm sorry. That's just stupid. Phew. Oh, man. I think I saw, I saw a video of a dude doing, uh, uh, flies. I think that's what they're called. Where you, no, lateral raises is what they're called. With, like, 120-pound dumbbells? And I was like, dude, that's fucking nuts. That's pretty heavy. For that exercise in particular, yeah. Right. Dude, I'm looking forward to being able to eat again and actually get stronger. It's going to be nice. Yeah? I think I have a lot of noob gains left to get. But Good. Got to gotta get this goddamn little pouch of fat. Right on my stomach. It's just irritating as fuck. <coughs> yeah. I, uh... Yeah. I do that shit, too. What's really yeah. annoying is, like, all my, like, my, like I have, like, veins in my arms. Like, I've got veins going up my biceps that I can see right now. But I just cannot fucking, this little pouch of fucking... Can't get rid of that shit, man. It's coming off, though. Like, you should the cut scale, it off. The scale is moving down, but for whatever reason, this is the last place for it to come off. She cut it off like in uh, that movie Seven. Oh, I've cut... seen that. <laughs> you ever seen the movie Seven? No. That's like a super old movie with. Uh, Why well, I haven't seen it? With Kevin Spacey. Um, yeah, re it's really good though. It's about like the Seven Deadly Sins or whatever, and he's like a serial killer with uh, I think Brad Pitt. It's a good movie. Check it out. <sighs> 
Anyway. Oh, uh, yeah, back to the comments. There's not many more left. Um. Uh. Yo, 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 that guy. Oh, uh, some of these. Kaiosuki or whatever. Yeah. They, there are some people that got into arguments about locker room talk. Boys will be boys. Get out of here with that shit. It is kind of though. Oh my god. These guys got into a fucking giant. Yeah, I saw that. Giant I argument. Fun. I like fun. I, I sound like a that. bitch. Oh my god. You sound like you dropped out of high school. I was raised to respect women and not force myself. Oh my god. Everybody's like, so, like that whole grab him, like, he admitted to sexual assault. Like, shut the fuck up. Oh my, that's so irritating. Like, no, he didn't. Like, he made some goofy fucking comment, like, and everyone, like, in private, blah, blah, blah. Like, the amount like, of shit that guys you, admit to when they're talking to other guys in, in that kind of situation not even is admit staggering. To or just say. Like, how much shit do Yo, they dude, embellish? This one time, I made four half-court shots in a row. Dope. Right. right. Yeah, exactly. I scored three touchdowns in a single game. Yo, dude, I played Michael Jordan in one-on-one. -on -one. I beat him. He got right. pissed. Well, I didn't beat him, but I, I scored a lot of points on him. Yeah, you know. Right. Still, I had a shot in the NBA. You know, if my fucking D didn't go out, right. probably be a different story for me right now. It's so, so irritating, dude. Oh, man. Maybe he did. You know, and if he did, right, like, then if you're going to come forward to claim, you need to have fucking proof, right? And then if you have proof. Yeah, whatever happened to Bill Cosby? I'm pretty sure he's in jail. No, he's not. He's way too rich for that. <laughs> he's way too rich. I'm, I think he is, bro. I think he's. No, he's uh, not. I think he is. Either that or he's like pending like a bunch of like litigational bullshit. Uh, case set for November. Crucial hearing set for November. Yeah. He's got some pudding. Uh, he's going to get his pudding popped in jail. Any chance we'll be on Spotify? See, luckily that dude's that dude lucked out, man. He, he fucking raped all those chicks right before he died. Like he's not yeah. even if he does Bill Cosby. Like that dude, that dude had to have. I don't think it. he's dead. No, I, but I'm saying he's gonna die soon. Like look at that dude. He's fucking dead. He's almost dead. Right. Like, even if he does, look at this fucking dude. <laughs> the pictures of this guy. Holy shit. Here, yeah, he, he's old. He's really this old. This guy. Look at this motherfucker. He's not living for too much longer, man. Uh, yeah. Right. It, you, if this was, it, if I had no, if yeah. I had no um, idea who Bill Cosby was, and they said that this guy was like part of some African tribe, where they like need some ASPCA funding or whatever. That's for the animals, isn't it? Whatever. I would believe it. Uh, right. This Bill Cosby looks fucking retarded now. <laughs> yeah, he's got that old old dude thing going on. God damn it! I'm getting so much entertainment looking at these fucking retarded images of Bill Cosby. Yeah. All right. There's not many more comments left here. Uh, people want Zico on as a guest. I think he'd be a good guest. He's European, from. Um. I don't know what Zico is. Uh, he's a really good mage in WoW. He's uh, from Amsterdam. Oh. So he's like, he's got this fucking fro, and he's, I don't know, he's like, he's like a cool black European guy. I don't know, he's oh. cool as fuck. I'm a big fan of Zico. He's good as shit at, at mage, too. Um, uh, I don't know, complaining about WoW's bullshit in PvP is kind of silly. It's always had bullshit, even back... In the golden times of WoW. Uh, you've just played it so it doesn't hold my attention for very long. It, it's true. Um, that guy was completely correct. And that's what I said. Could be a bulge slash irritation. Oh, yeah, that's my back. Yeah, my back. I'm, like, taking time off from working out. Which kind of sucks. I'm, I'm, like, always paranoid that my, my muscle's gonna, like, 
drain away. Now that I'm not using it right now, but my back is like actually a little fucked up. It's just like really sore, so I feel like I need to like take it easy for a week or two. Yeah, my shit's fine. I'm gonna fix that. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna die from uh, face rupture. Yeah. Well, that was all the comments I had. Um, do you have anything else you want to talk about? I'm, mm. I'm a little tired, so I've only, I've only had like three hours of sleep because I didn't want to sleep in too late and fuck up my sleep schedule today for tomorrow. Yeah, I don't think so. All right. Anyway, uh, let me make sure that was it. Let me make sure I didn't have anything else I wanted to hit on before I close this fucker down. My fucking wife just texted me. Are you almost done? She gets so mad because like, she has to watch the baby and shit. How dare, <laughs> how dare her have to fucking parent? Yeah, but I mean, it's a little different, right? Because like, she watches her like <clears throat> all the time when I'm at work all week. So like the weekend. How is, dare like, her have to watch the kid while you are the primary breadwinner? Yeah, that's the other thing. Is like, we're looking at like her even going down to like one day a week, and I know it'll be like as soon as she goes down to a day a week, it'll be like she'll still be like, "Oh, I watch the baby all week," and blah blah, and I'll be like, "Well, yeah, you also don't fucking work." Being a mother is the hardest job in the world. It's pretty. Dude, Have you seen I, that well, fucking me, Bill Burr bit though? Yeah, that I'll tell you Bill what, Burr though, bit is fucking great. Single moms probably do. These like mothers are bending down at the waist, putting DVDs into DVD players. That's funny. <laughs> Getting black like, lung. Being is a mother funny. is the hardest job on the planet. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you see all those mothers out there on fucking Deadliest Catch. It's the hardest job on the planet. Yeah, I don't know if it's the hardest job in the world, but... uh. That's what Oprah said, and Bill Burr just went fucking off. Lol. <laughs> hey, that's all I got, bro. Yep. All right, well, you have fun with that. Hope you guys enjoyed Hive Mind number 48. Be sure to check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, and soon-to-be Twitch. Um, be sure to leave us a comment down below. We like to read them. Uh, sorry for the kind of low-energy show. I think we're both pretty fucking exhausted so um yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you again next week have a good one